Step into the Divine Living Community, where we provide home and community-based services for individuals with disabilities. We are currently hiring direct support professionals to work with developmentally disabled children and adults. Join us not just as a professional, but as a family member. We believe in a home-like environment and building a strong, supportive community. Make a difference in the lives of others. Apply today at DivineLivingNE.com. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Invite Connections. We're glad you came and joined us again this week. Today we are uh, with our guest um, from Divine Living. So first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Marilyn McGarry, and I'm the host. And my co-host is Apostle Loretha Mayberry. And then our guests are from Divine Living. We have um, Director of Operations, Tiffany McGarry, and her son, Executive Director, Deshaun McGarry. And they're both also the co-founders for Divine Living, Inc. And thank you, and we're happy you're here. We thank you for accepting our invitation to come and, and talk about the services you provide in our community. Of course, of course. So first of all, it would be nice if you two could uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, um, Tiffany McGarry, um, we uh, own, co-own uh, Divine Living Together. Um, I am a mother first, I say I have uh, three boys, one 20, my oldest one is right here, 25, 21, and a five-year-old as well. Uh, I have a degree um, in uh, at, from Bellevue University in Human Social Services. Um, I have over 15 years experience um, working with individuals with disabilities. Um, we've had our business for over about three, three and a half years now. Okay, good. It's awesome. Awesome. Three and a half years. awesome. Welcome again. Mm -hmm. And Deshaun, tell us a little bit about you. Who uh, are you? So yes, I'm Deshaun McGarry. I'm the executive director and co-founder at Divine Living. And uh, more of my background is in like business and finance. And I, that's kind of what I bring, I guess, to the table with the business. Um, I would say that my mother, she has more of the, um, the education with the social work and uh, human services. Um, so I just kind of was an aid to kind of get things started, but kind of found myself uh, doing really well. Uh, within the social services industry, so <laughs> kind of stuck here. But um, I also do some other things with um, nonprofit organizations like Change of Omaha. I'm on the board of Shelter and Trees, and then I'm also a part of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, where we do all kinds of um, things in the community. And I'm I also lead our mentoring program. Awesome, awesome. What is the mentor program called? Omega Squires Mentoring Program. We're at Omaha North High School, and hopefully we will be at all the schools in the. Omaha Metro, mm -hmm. as far as high school, and then we we'll work our way down to some other middle yeah, school, middle other school ages. School. So, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> good. that's great. I think you start young, it helps, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, it sounds like you two bring a wealth of experience and knowledge together and are very compatible, which is good. Mm -hmm. Things that you're not able to provide, Deshaun does, and what Deshaun does, and Tiffany does. Perfect. Yes. Tell us a little bit about, about how it all began. How did, where did Divine living get its evolution or its birth yeah mm -hmm. well you want to start or yes yeah, so I guess I, I guess I can start and then I'll let <laughs> okay. uh, my mother Tiffany kind of tag along with me. <laughs> but we were founded in February 2021 uh, we began our business divine living uh, I don't I, it's kind of happened a little bit by accident I think yeah. we didn't really imagine uh, having a full-on business we had just wanted to kind of get in the industry and provide services mm -hmm. um, because we saw that there was a need out there and we're like you know we can kind of you know have a member maybe live in our home mm -hmm. um, or just kind of get in to work within that industry mm -hmm. um, however we kind of saw that it was a little oversaturated and we weren't really getting responses from organizations where we were wanting to kind of partner or be a part of the organization so we um, kind of looked into starting our own business. And I think when I originally <laughs> said something to my mother about it, she was like, oh, are you sure about this? Um, and I yeah. would say- He I, called I, me yeah. and was like, mom, we could do this on our own. I'm like, <laughs> oh, who could awesome. do this on our own? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. 
Mm -hmm. um, but I did look into the information at the time I was uh, studying my undergraduate degree in mm -hmm. business and finance. So I had a little time on my hands to do so. Um, and I found the orientation. We got into that. Um, then after that, we were, you know, creating policies and procedures and staff trainings and enrollment documents mm -hmm. for our members and services. Um, and then like our quality assurance, I, that was something I didn't really know existed until mm -hmm. we started yeah. um, our business. But mm -hmm. that was like a huge piece of sure. the process of starting Divine Living. Um, so we started our process, I would say hmm, that was probably June of 2020. 2020. Yep. And then, yep, we were approved for services by February 2021. So I know like the rule of thumb is like six months. It's kind of like a thing to like start something. I think they say it's three or six months, but it took us six months where we had like some kind of breaks in between. Mm -hmm. um, but the services, yeah, we were approved February 2021. Uh, we started our services in Nebraska, providing Nebraska Medicaid home and community-based services to children and adults with developmental disabilities um, through our, um, just one, a group home. That's what we started off with. Mm -hmm. um, and then later on, we kind of got our day center. Um, but originally we were working outside of the, the group home. Our office was there. Our wow. stay reviews were in the group wow. home. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah. we were the only two employees. We did yeah. the administrative, we did the direct care yeah. work, um, we did the marketing mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. things, which was not easy. But So you really had yeah. to have a passion for it. Yes. Yeah. To do the work because you are it. You, you yeah. become mm -hmm. what this agency really is. Mm -hmm. You actually are the... Um, the example of the agency, you when you walk, people see you, they're gonna see divine living. Mm -hmm. So you represent the company as well. Yes. For sure. So that's really key. I think that's what helps with it being successful, mm -hmm. having that longevity, I yeah. guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whose whose passion was it initially? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it was it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Always wait to hear that. Well, yeah, it was it was it it actually was mine. Back in 2007, I graduated from Bellevue, Bellevue University um, with my human social services degree. My dream then was to open up a group home. Um, it was mainly supposed to be for uh, women, um, um, at-risk youth uh, women, um, young women. Um, and uh, I just wanted, actually, I, I didn't think that it would be like this. I actually just wanted one home uh, for, for women. Um, I didn't know how to come go about it. I knew I needed a business plan, so I had that already ready. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as the Vine Living was coming around, I didn't know it was going to be like this. Uh, I even had a name for my group home. What was it called? It was supposed to be Gr Growing Minds. <laughs> growing Minds. I had a name and everything. Um, wow. So once I had my son, I had my, my youngest baby. Uh, he's now five. Um, I wanted to, I didn't want to work. I figured I didn't want to work as hard as I did with my other, my two younger children because I was always working during the days. I, they probably didn't see me till night. So I decided, okay, with, with this son, I did not want to work as hard. I wanted to be able to be there more for right. him. So I wanted to become a uh, mainly work for myself, independent provider. Mm -hmm. When we did try, like Deshaun said, like when we did try to um, get into the interest, industry, mm -hmm. um, it was oversaturated, wasn't getting responses. Someone will, some people told me no because of my child being so young. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's why I also called Deshaun, told Deshaun, like Deshaun, they're not, I'm not getting any responses. Won't you call to see if you can get a response faster since you're sure. a male? Because sometimes yeah. this industry is, you know, it's mm -hmm. a male industry. It's who you know sometimes. Yes, yeah. exactly. But mm -hmm. also with women, with children, yeah. we're not the first um, people that they place yeah. So when you say, just with. to back up a little bit, can you explain what you mean by oversaturated? What does that mean? It was a, a long waiting list. We had called a, a couple companies, uh, agencies, and there was a waiting list to get any um, members to become your home. A to, to become a, a care SLP. provider yes, yourself. Yes, a share, a share living provider, yes. Shelter. A shared living provider. Shared living provider. Mm -hmm. SLP. Yes. Okay. SLP for I am learning too. Sure. So I do apologize. <laughs> You're fine because this is what it's all the learning uh, about. Yeah, it was a long arena. waiting list and I was mm -hmm. denied and sometimes I they would just I wouldn't get any responses. So I was, I called the the Sean, called the Sean and was I told him what was going on. Like we I'm not getting any responses. Won't you won't so you, you call said this let's number? have our own agency. No, I called him and told him <laughs> I called him to see if he can get in before yeah. I I sure, could, yeah. they kept I denying understand. me with since he was a male, I'm thinking he will get a, get responses yeah. faster than me. Well, and once he, he 
to get a fast. He wasn't able to get the responses that we wanted as mm -hmm. well. So that's when he called me and was like, Mom, we can do this on our own. We okay. can do this. And so that opened another um, avenue on your dream coming to pass, yes. right? Right, right. So you right. became the service provider. Mm -hmm. Yes. Versus right. the in between. We, yes, we yeah. yes, we opened our own agency then. Okay. So, okay. Where did the name come from? That came from me. Um I, I like, it's, like I said, at first my 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 dream home was my dream uh group home name was supposed to be Growing Minds. Mm -hmm. Um I talked with my we me and my son, we spoke about the name Deshaun Deshaun was like, No, I think that sounds like a daycare. <laughs> oh, like a daycare. <laughs> I said, Mom, that's a daycare. Growing minds, that's for kids. Okay. I said, okay, I'm going back to the drawing board. <laughs> and so something, I'm not sure, I, I, I woke up one morning and... It was God. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I was just looking at different, just thinking about yeah. different names and Divine came, came to mind. Mm -hmm. And so what I did, I Googled like the meaning of mom always told me to look, re, you know, read right. and, and, and get the true meaning of, of these different words. And because mm -hmm. divine, you could be, it could be spelled more than just divine, mm -hmm. D-I-V-I-N-E, or it could be spelled D-E-V-I-N-E. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so when I went to uh, looking at the, the name divine and I seen that the way that D-I-V-I-N-E yeah. was spelled means uh, a little bit more right, um, royalty. Oh, um, yes. And so, and being able to have a, a good life, a better yes. life. Oh, I like um, that. And so that's where divine came from. I like that. Mm -hmm. And so, Beautiful. and I, some just told me to put living behind it. So a divine <laughs> living and mm -hmm. I ran it past Deshaun and Deshaun was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I like that. He liked it. <laughs> good to know, good to know. Okay, so for three years, Three years. Tell us a little bit about the the grind. What were some of the challenges that you all experienced? I would say just starting off, mm -hmm. getting getting members in the home. That was kind of yeah. that was one of the hard being able to get guardians and service coordinators to trust us, mm -hmm. especially as a new agency, oh, and yeah. also yeah. with. Um, you know, my son being um, just out of high, uh, college. college and myself, I mean, I, I didn't really have my own, I never had my own agency or, or business. So I think that it was kind of hard for them. It was kind of hard to get the trust from the state. I like that. Yeah. 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 And I think I learned from that too, just kind of, I would always go into like a meeting and I would say, my name is Deshaun. I'm a recent graduate. <laughs> I'm, and I'm like, why would I say that? And then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a recent graduate, why do you think you can take care of our yeah, daughter, yeah, our son? Yeah, I'm like, right. I am not going to say that again. <laughs> um, so that was like my biggest mm -hmm. um, hurdle, I would say, starting off just being young. And, yeah. um, but I mean, they find out very quickly that like I'm full of energy it. and I, can, I don't have yes. any kids, so I can work very much overtime for mm -hmm. and go above and beyond for members rather than some other bigger agencies mm -hmm. who have hundreds of members in their yeah. services. And it's like some things fall through the cracks right. and things. Yes. So um, yeah. that's that's kind of what separated us mm -hmm. and kind of gained our confidence, I would say, because I yes. think we were not too confident just starting off. And then we saw like, wow, we can really pay attention more than these so now you have agencies. A, you have your niche. In other words, what makes you better than the other agencies that are out there since mm -hmm. it's so inundated with so many? Yeah. What makes you be the, the one that rises to the top? That they yes. seek out for. I think because we're more hands on. We're more we're working with our individuals. We they and they love us when when they are admitted to when they're enrolled into our services. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a meeting. We have there's an intake process mm -hmm. and okay. we get to meet everyone. We are we are involved in that process and they're able to see us and meet us and gain our trust that way. Yeah. And I would also say just like our staff as well, mm -hmm. um, we take care of our staff really well. So like if they need like a day off, we'll be flexible with them on, yes. on that or leaving early. I know like how Walmart or different or bigger organizations, if mm -hmm. you, you point out after that fourth th time, then you're out yeah. of there and there's kind of no rebuttal on that. So I think that we're, we're very flexible with our staff. Mm -hmm. um, the training the that we give as well to... Just so you see it as a, a partnership. Mm -hmm. You're there to help them be successful as they're there to be a part of the team. Correct. To help you be successful. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's good. Great. That's good. And I'm part of that 
that training process. And so with me having the years experience that I have mm -hmm. with the, the different agencies that I was with before, I'm able to pass on um, yeah. all the knowledge That's that I good. have to them. You've, you've learned. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've learned. Heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things not to do and, and what to do, what not to do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sure. yes. Did you have a oh. question that you're in yeah. this area? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So let's talk about more um, what the services entail. You, you mentioned SLP, right? SLP is called Share Living Provider. Yes. Share Living Provider. Mm -hmm. What what does it what do you do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. What is it you provide? Just kind of all of our services. So mm -hmm. we provide just like our the Medicaid home and community based services okay. to children those with developmental disabilities. So we do that through like a group home setting. Um, and then we also have like she stated like the shared living services where that's more of in um, like a family's home and they have placement in their home. So that was something we were trying to do and we were trying to have a placement in our okay. home at the beginning. So that's the shared living place. That's the shared day. living place. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have, you oversee the home mm -hmm. and they have their own, they have the individual in their home. So yes. it's usually a relative or it's just a, a patient, um, a client. Well, there's a, so a, there'll, it'll be a trained staff, but that trained staff will be an independent contractor with the organization. Okay. And so let's say that you're an independent contractor and you have an extra room where you want to take someone in okay. into your home and for them to live in your home, mm -hmm. you'll just be responsible for them. Kind of similar to foster care, but a little bit more intensive with okay. the services. Yes. Okay. Um, and then we also do day services as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we started off in Nebraska with all of our services, but we have expanded into the state of Iowa. So mm -hmm. we're inside of Nebraska and, and within the state of Iowa with those okay. services. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the main... Those are the, the services. Yeah, we're approved for about over 20 to 30 services, but right. we just, those are our main ones, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And this is under, uh, you're certified under the state of Nebraska, which division is mm -hmm. it? It's the uh, Developmental Disability uh, DD Department. Waiver. Yep, mm -hmm. so the DD waiver. So we have, um, we're approved to provide AD waiver services, CDD waiver, um, DDAD waiver. Um, and then in the state of Iowa, we are certified to provide ID waiver services and then brain injury waiver. So ID stands for intellectual disability and then BI is the brain injury waiver. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're contracted with DHS in Iowa, but we're credentialed with Iowa Total Care, Molina Healthcare, um, and then WellPoint Insurance. So it's a little bit different how they okay. source the services in Iowa versus Nebraska where DHHS mm -hmm. is who controls all of the services, but mm -hmm. Iowa, these are for-profit companies managing the services who okay. are not maybe just in the state of Iowa, they're, lo okay. they're national, like Molina Healthcare, they're all over. National. Um, and then they just kind of got the bid for the Medicaid That's within awesome. Iowa. So it could change within mm -hmm. three, I think it's every three years they do the bidding of who's kind of going to get the to Medicaid the contract with. Contract, yeah. So you become a certified referral source. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we'll be contracted in it. Entities in the city, I mean the state. Yep. Right through the state. So I would say we have a total of we have a total of five contracts. Um, okay. So that's, I guess, a better way to put it too as well. Mm -hmm. Five contracts with mm -hmm. just Iowa? Total, or? Just total. So in Nebraska, oh, total. we have our DHS and then okay. with Iowa, we're credentialed with Iowa okay. um, DHS and then we're credentialed with Iowa Total Care, Molina Healthcare, and then WellPoint. So that's the yeah, five. That sounds, when you say contracts, because I used to work for the state of Nebraska at one time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> one of those top, top jobs and <laughs> I don't know a lot about other divisions but when we talk about contracts that's pretty lucrative mm -hmm. that's pretty that's a, a higher level of trust mm -hmm. uh, and so I know you've been through some challenging surveys mm -hmm. credentialing uh, being certified you know and things like that and is that something yet you're still how does that process work is that ongoing or mm -hmm. So with Nebraska, just being in the two different states, <laughs> they both just kind of do things differently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, a lot different. And I would say us coming from Nebraska, we're like, oh, we can just do what we do in Nebraska and Iowa. And <laughs> it was like, yeah, oh, yeah it was like, yeah. oh, we, we like that, but that's not what the regulation wants you to do. So it's like, mm -hmm. okay, we got to switch some things up. But um, Nebraska, we started off kind of, we, we had one year certifications. Um, recently, last year, we got a two-year certification, so that's pretty good for a new agency to get a two-year certification. Um, Iowa, um, 
on our first like big review because I think we just had like our provisional review on mm -hmm. that one we kind of had to get like a nine month and then after that we got mm -hmm. a three-year certification which is like the best certification you can kind of get um, okay. in Iowa so we're kind of locked in our seat I would say for a few mm -hmm. years and then once we kind of get close to that we'll prepare for it but it's mm -hmm. kind of help us build our process it's kind of a headache when it does come around but like it does work out easier mm -hmm. um, when we have that flow and know what we're supposed to be doing exactly. and what we can work on. Yeah. So that way um, services go really well um, and it doesn't leave any gaps or holes for Absolutely. things to go wrong. What I remember with certifications and surveys, is what we call them too, mm -hmm. is that it was opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I always saw it as a, a time for them to come in and give me some consultation, uh, you know, and yes. get a, definitely, definitely, mentor me in some areas and show me some things I need to do and how mm -hmm. I can do them better. Oh, yeah. They also will bring in some of the new things they, they're doing that you had no idea they put in place some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so you never really let them get, let them think that you know it all. <laughs> uh, yeah. You come in and take it as an opportunity to learn and they they like that. They love those questions and that back and forth. So, mm -hmm. so that's good. It's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Glad to see that that's happening for you too. Yep. Um, so we're going to probably in our next session talk more specifically about some of the, it would, not, it would be good to talk about some of the individuals that you kind of people you really take care of and, mm -hmm. and how, how you help are helping the community um, meet some of the needs. It's it's interesting that you say it's inundated with so many uh, service providers, but I wonder how many service providers are really providing that quality mm. service yes. that's needed, meeting right. that need, and if there's any gaps in services at all. So I don't know, do you have any other oh, I just questions? Say, I think it's awesome, mm -hmm. awesome <laughs> task. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, just awesome. The community needs that service. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so I um, love what we do. Yeah, um, we have a couple minutes here. I'm just going to ask a little bit about um, are you hiring right yes. now? Yes, we are taking <laughs> applications um, and then we're kind of actively kind of doing interviews and then maybe there's some points of time where we're maybe hiring more quickly rather than mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also take applications for maybe something in the future because mm -hmm. we do have some future plans where we'll kind of need to probably yeah. hire some people in very it's fairly good to have quickly. staff available and ready to go when people are assigned to you and pick up new yes. clients. Yep. So we're, yeah. we've been really pushing out more of the direct care mm -hmm. um, hiring. Um, eventually, we probably will need to start adding more people to our administrative team, mm -hmm. um, but we're still kind of brainstorming like timing on that just to mm -hmm. ensure that who we have now on our administrative team you know knows their duties before we kind of bring in more and then everyone's mm -hmm. kind of looking around like uh oh, what am i supposed to be doing or um so i think that's the best way i guess yeah. to explain like our hiring process but i think we're all we're growing so we're always kind of looking for those and who sometimes are the best hiring is by word of mouth correct just yeah. like i think the best marketing is by word of mouth people who have experienced your services what kind of qualifications will the individual have to have? Well, oh. I, well one is we, we're looking for uh, them to already have their med aid or okay. CPR certified mm -hmm. already, med certified. Mm -hmm. Those are a couple of the qualifications. If they don't come with that, some, we are able to um, um, train them or get them oh, into training. Awesome. Um, but that's one of the, one of the most qualifications is Mm -hmm. Being CPR like certified and med aid, mm -hmm. medication yes. aid. And I would say just kind of having some history. Yeah, at, least, um, at least about two, three years. Here. Yeah, just having some history within. If you don't, if they don't have any history working with anyone with uh, developmental disability, just some type of medical or health care. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but prefer them to kind of have some history just working with someone with developmental disabilities. Yes. Where, rather that's like professional or maybe personal. Mm -hmm. We have lots of staff who maybe their kids are, you know, yes. autistic or yes. have diagnoses where they kind of bring their knowledge of what they use in home. And it's like, oh, uh, you can't use what you use at home here, but um, it's good that they just kind of are okay with they what's going on. Yeah. It's kind of what it is, but. They do have to train them mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. specific requirements by the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. So if they were interested in a position, how would they contact you? You give, can you look into the camera and, my phone number, your website, mm -hmm. address. Yes. 
So if you are wanting to apply for our direct support professional um, position, you can go to www.divinelivingne.com. Um, and our office cell phone is 402-315-3593 if you have any trouble. Um, and also, you can also stop in um, at our office at 6657 Sorensen Parkway um, in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, thank you. Between the hours of 9 and 5. 9 and 5? <laughs> Monday through Friday. Monday yes. through Friday. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to put that on the screen for us as well. So we thank you for this uh, opportunity yes. to talk with you and discuss the and talk about divine living. Mm -hmm. Look forward to our second session. Um, and so thank you too for joining in and we look forward to talking and seeing you again, talking with you and seeing you again. Goodbye. <laughs>